Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. I want to share with you today something I did just a couple of days ago regarding a Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you're wondering what is a Copilot, what is the Microsoft 365 Copilot is, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have an introductory video here sometime soon. But it's a chatbot. One of the things I can do with a Copilot is create a chatbot, a conversational experience. So today, I quickly want to show you how I was able to do that. First things first, and I'll share these links in the uh, in the description of the video. Take a look at this announcement. This came up in September. It's talking about Microsoft Copilot, your AI assistant at work. And this is happening across the Office suite. So this is in Word, in PowerPoint, in Excel. Uh, this is going to be, it's in Teams, it's in Bing, it's, it's, it's everywhere. AI is everywhere. So I'm going to use Microsoft 365 Copilot to generate a conversational bot. So that's the announcement. Here's the documentation. And what I'm gonna use is what's called a Microsoft Copilot Studio. Really, really exciting. Now, if you've been in the bots and you've done some bots and chat bots and all that, in the past, you probably worked with Skype uh, bot framework and then you got into Teams and you may have done some other things. And I did that and that's all cool. With the Copilot Studio, it really brought the data to me. So for example, I can just say, hey, create me a Copilot, point it at a website, and use that website as my data source. So this is what I did, and I'll show you. Here is the Copilot Studio. You can log in using copilotstudio.microsoft.com. You can try it out. You can buy a license. The licenses are, I think it's $30 a user. So I'll I'll wait for the bill to show up and, and see, see what's happening. But anyway, I just wanted to try it out. And I said, hey, I'm in Toastmasters. A lot of people ask me about Toastmasters. Why not create a bot, chat bot, point it at toastmasters.org, use the content and the material on toastmasters.org, and just have a chat with my uh, visitors. And that's exactly what I did. You click on here, you create a new co-pilot, you point it at a, uh, at a website using a channel, and boom, you got something like this right here. And this experience in here, you can test it out. So if I say hello, hello, how can I help you today? Uh, I'm going to say yes, uh, please. Can you tell me how to join Ghostmasters? Oh, let's take a look at this, guys. Boom, look at that. It gave me three. Yeah, here it is. Visit a club, fill out a membership, pay your $60, da -da -da -da, and I have a reference. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Look at that, guys. This is awesome. So I, I really loved it. I added a logo for Toastmasters. I'm probably not supposed to do that. But anyway, here's a chat bot. Two or three clicks. Boom, it's done. Look at that. This is the logic. This is the business logic behind it. This is the data source. If I click edit, it's Toastmasters.org. I didn't have to do anything. Unbelievable. Look at that. And then on the left, what I did after I generated this, well, not me, it's Copilot Studio. I clicked on channels. Yep, leave that. And I chose custom website. Here it goes. Took the iframe and dropped it. Boom, right here on my website. I got a Toastmasters PHP page. Here's the co-pilot right here on my website. I'm going to say, hey, let's say hello. What is Toastmasters? Let's see. Toastmasters co-pilot at work. Look at that. I don't have to Bing. I don't have to Google. I don't have to do any of that. I'm going to have a chat, conversate Toastmasters or national nonprofit. Thank you very much. This is perfect. All right, YouTube, if you like this, let me know, like this video, drop something in the chat. I'll create some more of this. I just thought that I'll share with you what I learned this week about Microsoft 365 Copilot. Try it out. Generate a bot. Let me know about it. Thank you. Ciao.